What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Effie Aftermath back with another video for you guys. Today we have a special video. We have our top five weighted, weighted exercises for all my athletes out there. I don't want to say top five exercises in general because I know there are a lot of things that are non-weighted that should be on the list, but we're going to do top five exercises I feel that athletes should be doing in the gym all the time every week all right so go ahead hit that like button subscribe to the channel this will be a quick video let's go all right so our first exercise is hand cleans the reason why this is the first exercise which is number five is because of the learning curve that comes with hand cleans it's not something that you could just pick up and get you know right away some people who are gifted athletically and have coordination can others who you know do work out for leisure or whatever will not uh, but if you're an athlete you're you're probably i mean if you're not an athlete you're most likely not doing this anyways um we're gonna do five sets of five that's a good range for this exercise that's going to allow you to build that strength and explosiveness for training on the field so if you can't do these we also have an alternative you'll grab some dumbbells and you can do the same motion with dumbbells and it's a bit easier as well and also you get that unilateral strength so you're not having to focus on just the barbell which is one movement now you have to focus on your left and right side equally so it's honestly good for beginners to start with dumbbells to get the motion down and then move on to barbells for heavier weights All right, so next up we have our push press. Now we're going to do it with the same barbell right here. We're going to get under the bar. And with the push press, it's, it's kind of like a shoulder press, but you're starting from the ground. So you got a slight bend in the knees and then boom. And bend in the knees, two, three. And once again, with the push press, treat it like the hand cleans. Five sets of five. These are going to be a good amount of, a good amount of weight. We're still trying to be explosive. We're still trying to be fast. This is going to help. Everything that we're doing helps channel energy from the ground up. Hand cleans right here to control right here. Push press right here to further on. And then throughout the rest of the exercises, we hit the lower body. So everything connects with each other. This is why these are my top five because they complement each other greatly. Again, for the alternative to the push press, you can grab our kettlebells. Same thing. One, two, three. Also, when you're doing these exercises, think about rhythm. These exercises come with rhythm. It's not something you just jump in and do because you start looking awkward and everything's not in one nice rhythm. When you're doing this, you can't just come in here, do this, and then up. You want one nice fluid motion with the standing up to press. Same thing with the hand cleans. Nice fluid motion to the flicking and sitting back down. All right, next up we have our squats. Squats, you know, you, you knew this was gonna be in here. Squats is the king compound, you know, along with deadlift and bench, bench for upper body, deadlift for pretty much full body. But squats is that base builder for all athletes. You have to, uh, 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 you can tell a big squat, you know, the power that comes with a big squat. And we got that right here. So with squats, we can do our, you know, five sets of five. When that, so a set like that, when you hear five sets of five, we're going for our strength. You know, with strength, you can still be explosive, powerful, but you know, also we can still go for our eight to 12s for our hypertrophy training, you know, with the lighter weights. But majority of the time in sports, you're not really going for muscle growth. You're going for strength. Uh, majority of the time, there are very the accessory works is what you do for for muscle growth. But when it comes to our compound, our bigger lifts, it's mainly for power and strength. Now, when we're doing squats, there are two things you can do. Two setups with the squats, depending on what your weaknesses are and your uh, strengths are. You have high bar. I myself, I am a high bar squatter. Right, the bar is all the way up here. More hip dominant, you know, quads and hip dominant, uh, posterior chain, power right here. And then we have low bar. Low bar is gonna give you more of a hip hinge. You're gonna put more emphasis on your glutes and hamstrings. So if you have weak glutes and hamstrings, this would be a great uh, squat alternative for you to do over the high bar. Majority of people are automatically go high bar, 
but low bar right here. You'll have to get used to it uh, because of your wrist. It allows you to put the weight in a better center of gravity. And honestly, more people can squat more like this, but more emphasis on the glutes and hamstrings for low bar. More on the hips and quads for high bar. We got two exercises. We got Nordic hamstring curls. If you are looking to prevent any, and I mean any type of pulls, leg injuries, this is a must have in your routine. This is a top tier exercise for everybody. Weighted, non-weighted. It does, it's, it's the Nordics, I usually do non-weighted, but the reverse Nordics, I do weighted. The reverse Nordics, it's pretty much the opposite. The first one, the Nordics is for your hamstring, hamstring curls, and then you have the reverse Nordics for your quads. This has, I used to be scared to just take off and sprint. Just, just take off and sprint, you know, with minimal warm up. Now I am literally back to sprinting with no issues, no worries, no thoughts that I'm ever going to pull my hamstring or quad again. And I honestly give it all to these two exercises. And the reason why, the reason why they are so important is because they lengthen and strengthen the quads and hamstrings. When you're lengthening and stretching, you're, you're opening up mobility, you're opening up range of motion, and also you're strengthening that entire range of motion as you're focusing a lot on the eccentric phase of the exercises. And when you focus on the eccentric phase, that is the most important when it comes to strength gains and for uh, to strengthen nerves as well. So the reverse Nordic and the uh, Nordic hamstring curls. Our last exercise for the day are our prowler pushes, right? We can focus on explosiveness, endurance, speed with this one machine. And you're also able to focus on the proper mechanics when it comes to running, loading, transitioning with the prowler. This is my, this has to be the number one exercise because this is going to be the most translation to things that involve running to resistance against each other to building power from the legs while building power in the movements that you are already doing in game, right? So prowler, you can go for 10 yards for power explosiveness. You can go for, you know, 50 to 100 yards for endurance. And also what I like to do for speed is I'll go 10 yards and then come off the edge and do sprints without the prowler. So you do 10 yards and then boom, come off the edge, 20 yard sprints. This allows contrast training. We're under a load and then all of a sudden we're getting right off that load and doing a body weighted movement. These ladies and gentlemen, top five exercises. What do you guys think? Let me know what you would have as your top five down below in the description. I mean, down below in the comment area. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. More videos to come, like and subscribe. Peace out. Thank you.